When you're making meat, now before I fry this thing, do you ever just like think what happens if the chicken just like has little, you know, while you cook it? Do you ever think about that? Like, what if the chicken just like. <sighs> my day, sorry, my face is here. Hello. There we go. Okay. Hi, guys! You see, you see, as soon as I said hi guys, the sun goes away. Do you see it? Anyway, the glory and the light of God is upon me anyway, so I still am shining. My face is still shining today. Anyway, welcome back to my channel, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution. I actually have a confession to make. I'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information. I don't know how to cook chicken. What? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. I don't know how to cook chicken because I've never really had to. So like at my home, I, I cook beef, I cook like everything except chicken I make because that's just the kind of meat I prefer. Now as a result, I just don't know how to cook chicken. I don't know where to start. Anyway, so today I decided that I am going to be making fried chicken and I really, really hope it works out because you know, messing up chicken, you don't want to mess up chicken because chicken is a good thing. Chicken is nice. you know what I mean? To be honest, like I didn't even really go grocery shopping for this. I'm sort of just going to use what I have here in my kitchen and hope for the best. And while I cook, I'm going to answer some of your questions that you guys had about my life here in America. Hashtag multitasking queen, multi-talented, hashtag I'm the girl. All of this goes down the drain, by the way, if I don't succeed in making this chicken. But I really hope I do. So let's okay good people so we are here with the things that i'm going to use to be making this chicken all right so like i said i'm not really prepared like listen i've got a jar of milk for no reason i have it here for the vibes just in case i need it because some people use milk i don't have butter milk i don't know if regular milk works but just in case i do decide to use it i'm not following an exact recipe because i don't have the ingredients for an exact recipe but i did watch a video so i'm going to yeah here we have our chicken it's been washed i washed it already and it's chicken leg quarters and then we've got original all-purpose seasoning we've got some goya adobo we've got some garlic powder we have maple barbecue rub we have paprika salt and all-purpose flour so the reason why oh and we have eggs by the way the reason why i wanted to make fried chicken to be honest is because i wanted to finish my all purpose flour because I'm moving soon and so I won't have room for all this stuff obviously in my room and I can't take it with me so I have to use up all my ingredients or as much as I can as soon as possible so the first step I'm going to take is pour the spices inside the bowl because that's how they did it in the other videos so I guess I also have to do it like that by the way if you really want to make good uh, fried chicken I don't know if this is the recipe you want to follow but I'm just here for the good times for the vibes for the babies so y'all know I'm a student on a budget I can't afford an apron I don't have an apron so it is what it is I don't know you know how like in those um, in those cooking videos they pour their spices so well like everything falls into place like magic I'm going to answer the first two questions that I was asked which was what am I studying and what were the requirements to get in? I am studying accounting, I'm an accounting major. So I went through an agency which helped me to apply for my schooling. And if you guys want me to connect you to the agency, help you out, I'm going to put my email in the description below. So just shoot me an email and let me know that you want to study abroad. So the question, what were the requirements? The documents, uh, like my matric report, I think grade 11 as well. I had to write an SAT. Obviously you need to apply for a school visa you need to go for your interview. I don't even know how much spice I need to be quite honest, but eh. I guess I should just trust my gut. This is my store. I'm sticking to it. So now I have my spices all done and I'm going to mix it together now. And I'm also going to answer the next question, which is in terms of academics, what were my expectations versus reality? So some of my fears I had when it was time to come and study was what if I'm not able to keep up with the curriculum? Especially because I have a scholarship, you know what I mean? And honestly, I won't even lie, I am, by God's grace, an A student. It's been challenging, yes, especially because I'm doing accounting, but I've honestly had an easier time than I did in high school. Like for me, high school grade 11 and 12 was the pits. It was a mess, it was the ghetto. Ah, the ghetto! 
it's a ghetto. Now I'm going to pour my spice inside the chicken and just spice it up pretty much. I was watching this Paula Dean video and she put eggs there. So I guess I'm going to put eggs. So the next question that I'm going to answer as I put this spice over my chicken is, was it easy finding a place to do my hair? Um, so that was definitely something that I was like, yo, when I got here, that was one of my concerns. How am I going to do my hair? I saw this black girl on campus and she had braids and I was like, yo, how do you, where do you do your hair? And it turns out that her sister, actually, they're twins, her sister actually does hair. And that is how I found the person who I do my hair with. And then as I spend more time here on campus, I found other people who do hair as well. So yeah, in terms of finding people to do my hair, you really just ask around with the black girls, the brown girls at school, see where they do it. Everyone has a cousin or know someone or they themselves can do hair that for me was surprising and the next question I'm answering is what are some things that you had to adjust to I had to adjust to a difference in accent so I had to change my accent I normally will say over there here but when I speak that way Americans don't understand what I'm saying so I have to be like there here where you know what I mean I have to really like roll my R's pronunciate my R's Guys, by the way this video obviously will not be perfect because I'm doing all this filming and whatnot by myself but yeah, so anyway, now I'm just going to like, I guess, rub the spice in. This is the one thing I hate about cooking meat is meat is so sticky. I hate my hands getting sticky. It's so gross. Anyway, so that is something I had to adapt to. A difference in accent and a difference in language. So go check out my video that I did with Angie where an American tries to guess South African words. And seriously guys, a word that is a part of your everyday vocabulary, you don't even think about it. You come here to America and it's like so foreign and you then have to adjust to finding new words and stuff like that adjusting to speaking english all the time man like no one here speaks of a nag you know as a south african when you speak you'll throw in j in your sentence or yo or mus or you know what i mean those small words that complete your sentence but you can't do that here because people are like huh oh i forgot to add paprika let me sprinkle some paprika on top of here just for the vibes, for the good times, for the vibes. Finish with me now for the babies. <laughs> of course, go check out my video that I did about, um, ooh, ugh, ooh, not too much now, relax, relax. <laughs> So go check out my video that I did about American culture shocks, which will go into more detail about what are some of the things that I had to adapt to. Yo, honestly guys, ah, meat is so gross. Ah, ah, sticky. It's so sticky and squishy. Oh my days. Ah, oh, this feels like a crime. Ah, 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 ah. Chicken tastes good, but this is disgusting. Disgusting. Ooh. It's not really disgusting, I'm just being dramatic. But the next question is, how diverse is the institution? Um, the institution that I'm at right now is a PWI, which is a predominantly white institution. So it's not very diverse, which is disappointing for me because part of my experience that I wanted was to be around American black people. You know, that's part of the culture that I wanted to be exposed to, that I honestly am not getting the most out of it so i'm honestly done playing with this chicken at this point i was playing with it this is what it looks like now and so what i'm going to do now is actually break an egg crack some eggs put it in here add some spice add a little bit of milk honestly i don't know if the milk is a good idea i don't know if people actually do this but yolo um you know at the end of the day i know something will come out of this it might not be perfect but i know something is going to happen here so as for what, we don't know, we'll see, but it's gonna be something. The next question that I'm going to answer is, if you could pick a different country to move to, would you pick another one and what would it be? I'm going to crack four eggs, by the way, guys, because I have quite a bit of chicken and it's really big. But if you go see my video that I made earlier on where I spoke about, the very first time I spoke about moving to America, you'll know that I never wanted to move to America because, um, you know, honestly, America is low-key the pits. Um, it's not as amazing as people would like to make it seem. Oh, I'm gonna put some of the spice inside the eggs as well. Um, I'm gonna too much spice. Yo, I hope I don't mess this up. Oh yeah, some milk. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> uh, some of you guys are probably looking at this like, ugh, so gross. Maybe it is gross. I don't know, guys, but, ah, it looks disgusting. 
<laughs> okay, you can't use the word disgusting when you're cooking, but yeah, it looks very interesting. Anyway, um, so I never did want to come here, and if I could, I would have gone to Australia. That's where I wanted to go. The next question that I'm going to answer as I pour my eggs into here is what is my favorite takeaway? Ooh. <laughs> see, this is where I really wish I had gloves because you see, the way I'm about to put my hands inside this thing for me, it's just... It's upsetting me in my home, girl. So I'm just mixing my chicken into this marinade over here and um, I'm going to add some spice a little bit again at the top and then I'm going to wrap it up, put it in the fridge and let it marinate. Obviously I'm not gonna let it happen all night because it's literally in the middle of the afternoon and I don't have all night and I'd like to finish this video today. So I'm going to leave it in the fridge for about one to two hours and then we're going to proceed to put it in the flour and fry it. I really hope this works out. Also, I probably should have cut this chicken into like not cooking it the way I am now, but cut it into smaller pieces. It'll probably make it easier to work with. But I just, I just didn't do it. I have no reason. I just, I just didn't, guys. Like that's it. I just didn't do it. This is my store. I'm sticking to it. So here we go. I can't tilt it too much, but this is what my chicken looks like. And of course, wrap and put it in the fridge. Hey guys, so it has been three hours since I put the chicken inside the fridge. So I've just taken it out and transferred it to this pot. And I have my flour over here and a little bit of the spice left over. So I'm going to pour the spice inside the flour, mix it together, and then I am going to put my chicken inside of this flour so that we can do the things that can be done to make this chicken. So yeah, now I'm going to dip my chicken inside. The next question that I got was, um, how does my schooling here in America compare to my other schooling that I've had in my life? And I personally think that I cannot compare the two. I just feel like you can't compare primary school to college. You can't compare high school to college. And I'm so nervous, guys. You know, like honestly, when you're not a chef and you're a regular person and then you winged it like myself, Oh, there's just such a fear of messing up, but you know what? You have to do it first to find out. So high five! Ding. So the next question that I got as I dip this chicken and rub it all over to make sure it's everywhere. Again, I really wish I had gloves. The next question that I got was, do I plan to stay in America or come back? Honestly, you know, that's something that I think about every day. I think most international students think about it every day, depending on what country you come from. But honestly, you know, I think I just trust God's plan. You know, we make plans and God laughs. I really, I don't have a concrete answer to this one. I mean, if I get an opportunity here in America, I'm not gonna like shy away from it because I wanna be an essay or anything. So I'll definitely take it. And hey, what if I meet my husband here? You know, um, am I willing to get married here and start a family? I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So just roll in your marriage proposals, you know, just roll them in and then we shall see. But don't waste time, hey, don't waste time. Alright guys, so I have my chicken all floured up and now it is the moment of truth. Time to put them inside the fryer. I don't know if I will have enough oil. That's actually something that I'm worried about. So definitely when you're making fried chicken, this is so stupid, like it's such an obvious fact. But make sure that you have enough oil to fry your chicken. But nevertheless, again, I'm trying to use up my ingredients and be creative and create some funny content for you guys. I hope in the very least you guys enjoy me suffering here in the kitchen and being grossed out by touching chicken and low-key being scared of meat. Do you guys ever, like when you're making meat, now before I fry this thing, do you ever just like think what happens if the chicken just like has a little you know, while you cook it? Do you ever think about that? Like what if the chicken just like You're so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. Well, it's just, it's just me. Okay, all right. I guess we gonna fry this chicken then. Please, 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 wish me all the best. Subscribe to my channel. Make all of this worth it, please, at least, okay? Thank you. So the last time when I made amaguinho or fed cook, again, I don't know what that is in English, I burnt my fingers and I almost lost my life. I still got PTSD, so I'm not trying to burn again. So this time I'm using a spatula and I might run away, I might jump. You know, my mother's like, when you're in the kitchen, you're a woman, you have to be strong, and you know, if burning is part of the process, but I'm just like, you know what, if that's what being a woman is, then I don't know, make me a woman light. Ooh. Ooh, okay. 
Okay. Do it, girl. Much, much, much later. Hey guys, so I'm finally done making my fried chicken. Literally, there's no sun out because it's like 9 p.m. now. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the final results. Honestly, it looks really good. I really did a thing here. I really did a thing. You know what, let me hit you guys with a chicken montage, okay? It's, oh, by the way, I made some rice as well. I've been meaning to make some rice, but this is not the main thing, but I made some Spossy Ross. Look at it. Have you seen it? Yeah, there it is. Just like the Amagunya, I'm gonna get some friends of mine to try it out and give it a rating. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! We have Angie and Nahum. And they are going to be my official food tasters. So Angie picked her food. I mean, she picked her meat, but go ahead, pick your piece and taste. Thanks. You, oh. you. <laughs> um, I'm gonna pick a nice thigh. That's not a thigh. That's a drumstick. Okay. But hey, yay, 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 it is. It gets better as you go in, which is the best part. So. Ten. Ten. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes so good, make you wanna slap your mama, don't it, Willie? Yeah, boy. I give it a nine, because. A 10 would mean there's no more room for improvement. Mm -hmm. But I think there's always improvement. So for now, I, I give you a 9. Because I, I, because I think you can do better. Oh, okay, I'll take it. So we have a 9 and a 10. So guys, as I always say, Chef Benny with the pots, boy. <laughs> what I'm saying is booking info in the description, booking info in my Instagram bio since I'm a chef officially now. Thank you very much. I've not disgraced myself before my mom. So that's wonderful. That's it for today, guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And I will be back with more videos. Peace and love, guys. I would say if you want to see more of these videos, comment down below. But we're done in the kitchen. We're done cooking. That's enough. We're good. Thank you. All right. Good day. Bye-bye. Okay. Uh-uh. Let you me finish go. my food. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay.